Another feature that we have is called Dead Peer Detection, DPD. And we need that feature to basically detect dead peers in our network. If the peer is not responding uh, in a specific amount of time, that peer is probably dead. And if we didn't have that feature, we would still send packets there um, and the device is not replying, so we're kind of wasting our time, we're wasting resources of our machine that is performing, performing encryption. That's a problem. So we need to check up on uh, other devices on the network to see if they are available. So how it works, we have uh, multiple peers on the network and we basically send our keep alive packets everywhere and um, we wait for a reply. If there is a reply, um, it's fine. We still keep the connection open. So uh, as you can see, we send are you there packet to every device and if we receive are you there ACK acknowledgement packet everything is going to be fine and the tunnel will be still up all right so there are uh, several options and these options differ from vendor to vendor some vendors don't even have uh, an option to disable dpd or um, like any variation of dpd so um, Three most regular options that you're gonna come across when you work with VPN uh, is on demand, on idle, or disable. So right away, I want to point out, I want to mention that and put it out there. If you have it enabled on one side, the parameter, ha the parameter has to match on the other side. If you have DPD feature enabled on one side and disabled on another, it might cause problems. All right, so it's really important. And I have come across a lot of cases where um, people actually had that. So you have everything set up correctly, the first phase, the second phase, your encryption domain, uh, everything should be working, but it doesn't work. So, but the problem with DPD, because the other device doesn't uh, support a specific feature or something like that. Um, details, you know, are the problem. So that's why we're here. That's why I'm teaching you that stuff. Let's take that device as an example. So we're gonna enable uh, DPD with a feature called On Demand. So what it means, when there is no inbound traffic, basically if we don't receive any encrypted traffic on the device, only then we will send out a keep alive packet, are you there packet and wait for a response. All right, so the next thing is called on idle. If we enable on idle, when there is no traffic, when there is no inbound traffic, when there is no outbound traffic, if we are not sending traffic from our internal network to another site, or we are not receiving anything from another site, only then we will send out keep alive packet. And the last feature is really tricky, it's called disabled. And uh, you might think that if you disable that, it might turn it off completely, turn off the dead peer detection mechanism completely. And for some vendors, it, it is the case. Some vendors use it this way. Some vendors just enable the feature, disable, disable DPD, and it doesn't work, which is not recommended. You still need to have dead peer detection. Um, maybe the, there are some uh, topologies, some network scenarios where you don't need it, where it's so simple, it's fine, it's gonna work. Um, but I haven't come across any uh, any such topologies. But um, while other vendors, they, what they have, even though you select disabled, um, you are only going to respond to you uh, to keep alive packets. So what I mean by that is you're not gonna send are you there packets you're not gonna send any keep alive packets um, even though even if you have no inbound traffic even if you have no outbound traffic you will not send keep alive packets th th this is what means by disabled but you are going to respond with are you there ACK packets uh, if you receive it from other peers. The configuration of DPD is not difficult at all it is quite simple but it is kind of tricky when you're using multiple vendors and each vendor um, kind of um, think of DPD in a different way. They have proprietary features. You have to always look up the admin guide, the administration guide um, of the vendor that you're working with. So um, to sum it up, uh, it's really simple. 
you have it enabled or disabled and um, the parameter the configuration has to match on all of the devices that work in one VPN community and let me repeat myself uh, this is the last time I promise because it's really important that period detection must be either disabled or enabled on both sides because if you have a discrepancy uh, in that it might cause reliability issues when I say reliability issues, um, I mean the VPN it will not be working properly. It won't work, but <laughs> but I have seen cases where it's enabled on one side and disabled on another, and it still works. And the reason why it still works is because the feature disabled is working as not fully disabled, but it, it, it is still replying back as a responder that's why it works but some vendors don't have the feature they just disable it completely so keep it in mind because it's really important and when you troubleshoot vpn related issues this is something to consider